My name is Yijia Li. I'm the director of Sense Regenerative Medicine Stem Cell Bank. And this is my story. I'm at the forefront of gene technology and stem cell technology in China. I want to study biology because my father is a doctor. So when I go to university, I choose biology as my major. When I started to study more, I think I have a goal, I have a dream. It's like how to enhance our memory because remember a lot of things is too hard. I want to just increase like a chip, insert into your brain, and then you can remember all the things. This is the reason make me want to study neuroscience. The first time I come to Australia is because there's an exchange program between University of Melbourne and the Tsinghua University. I was selected one of the four exchange students to come to Melbourne, and then i really impressed by the University of Melbourne's research facility. And then I was amazed by the different education system. Because in China, I always told you have to learn this, learn this, learn that. But in Australia, my professor always told me, Yijia, you have to search your position. You have to do what you want to do. So I start to search what I want to study, and then my supervisor gave me a lot of support. In 2015, I joined the Sense Group to set up a stem cell bank in China because this is much more uh, closer to the application field. Now we can use the stem cell to treat different diseases, especially for the autoimmune disease. And this is because there's no better treatment. There's a lot of uh, uh, monoclonal antibody, but they have a really big side effect. But the, using stem cell, they really like living creature. When they inject into your body, they can do the homing, which means they can go to the parts which need to be repaired. And they can be homing there and then change the macro environment. And when the macro environment has been changed, it can activate your own stem cell to regrow, refunction. That's the reason it can be used for the haptic fibrosis, because when your liver uh, cell has been defunctioned, they can be regenerated by this stem cell and by the macro environment. This makes us at the position can find some cure for the disease which cannot be cured before. One of the clinical trials we have now is with the Yunda Hospital. We are doing the lupus patient for using MSC to treat them and we think they will get a lot of success. We have a very good I think what I achieved here is we boost a industry because the Yunnan province now set up the big health and the biotech as the first pillar of the economical industry part and we are really lucky to be here and with, because our uh, sense region medicine we have been collaborating with, with a lot of uh, universities and the industry companies and then in Yunnan province the regenerative medicine or the stem cell industry has been booming. And we also carry out the one belt and one road policy. So we have been using our technology to Thailand, to Laos, to Myanmar. So I think this is our biggest achievement because we are really proud. We bring out the international standard and, uh, and the University of Melbourne and the Monash University's high-end technology back to China and then we translate it and then we can also use this technology for our province and also for other Southeast Asia and uh, uh, South Asia countries. I think in the future our human life will be significantly increased with stem cell the human will be living longer and uh, live much healthier and we can replace the defunction uh, organs and I think this will give people much more opportunity to explore the universe.